Hi, my name is Bethany. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I am so happy you're here joining the community. I am still a new booktuber, a new bookstagrammer, a new book talker, but you all, I am loving this so far. But I am here today to do the booktube newbie tag. I figured before I keep jumping into these videos, let's go ahead and get the newbie tag out the way and yeah, let's get right on into it. So the first question, if you see me looking over here, I have my to look at the questions. So forgive me if I'm like glancing this way. But the first question is, why did you start this channel? I started this channel because of my love for books. And I just needed an outlet to share this with other people that has just as much excitement and opinions and conversation about the books that I love to read as well. I also love giving recommendations and receiving recommendations. So that is another reason, that is one of the reasons why I started this channel. Um, and I am loving it here. I am having so much fun um, talking about all these books with you all and having these conversations. And I just love it, I love it. That is the main reason why I started it, to share my love for books and to meet new book friends. Um, the second question is, what are some fun and unique things you can bring to YouTube? Well, some fun and unique things I believe I can bring to YouTube is my personality, um, the way I explain the books, the way that I make it so relatable. It's almost like I get immersed into the book and I can relay that um, to my audience. Um, so I believe that is one of the unique ways I can bring to YouTube. I also, I don't really see as many um, people that are moms and that's of my color and um, you know, that just loves to read fiction books. I love reading fiction books um, and I love to talk about it. We, are get, we get so caught up in our daily lives and we forget that childlike that childlike, um, what is the word I'm looking for, hobby that we really, really enjoy. And as we got older, life just gets in the way and all these responsibilities. So this is a way to just come back to what I really, really love. And it's just a hobby of mine that I am so happy I found again. Um, so I believe that is one of the fun and unique things I can bring to YouTube. It's just a fresh outlook with all of our beautiful books, you know? Um, number three is, what are you most excited about for your channel? I think I'm just most excited to grow with this community, meet new people, and the conversations that we will have. I'm just really excited to just have fun with it. You know, make content, I'm excited to see um, how I can grow in my content, how I can grow with my editing, um, how things, just to see how things just expand from where I'm starting now to where, wherever God is taking me. Um, the next question is number four, why do you love reading? Y'all, I have been reading since probably middle school. And I, I think I said this in the very first video. I have been reading for so long and I've always loved reading. Even when I was a little girl, I would have a journal. I remember sitting on the side of my bed and I would like act, I would be writing stories. I would be writing my own book and then I would so randomly do that every now and then. Even as I became an adult, I would be writing books. I would never finish them. I just always loved reading. I remember my grandparents house. I would go upstairs. She had a little library nook. I would read books like Flowers in the Attic. Flowers in the Attic. <laughs> um, I just always loved it. As I got to high school, um, I, I used to read on an app called Wat, a Wattpad. Um, and I just I just love reading y'all. It's just, it takes me to a whole nother world. I, I literally can get so immersed in, and caught up with these characters and I can feel their emotions and I can just, I don't know y'all, I just love reading. I always loved reading and I'm just so happy that as an adult, 
I can buy as many books as I want. I can read what I want. I can just, and I and now I can just share that love and passion with all of you. Um, um, number five says, what book series got you into reading? I know exactly what book series got me into reading. I was in middle school, y'all. And it was the Buford High series. Let me know if you all ever read the Buford High series. If, but the Buford High series, y'all, if you know, you know. If you know, you know. I actually just saw something on Facebook not too long ago. I don't know if it's true. Um, they said that they're trying to make a movie or a TV series out of it. And they keep getting like blocks from doing it. I don't know how true that is. But if they are, oh baby. Oh baby. I'm going to be watching it. Um, number six says, what questions would you ask your favorite booktubers? I think I probably have two. How do you find time to read? <laughs> and that sounds so crazy, like, because I find time, but that's what I really have to do find time i am a mom y'all i have i am a mom of two toddlers i have a four-year-old and a one-year-old so if you know you know i work a full-time job i'm working from home today so that's how i'm able to um push out this content right now but i'm a wife i i have career goals that i'm aspiring outside of this that i'm studying for i have goals with my husband that we have for 2024 i'm looking at our board that we're trying to dive into it's just always so much along with making sure that my kids are taking care of their babe they're fed they're getting to school they're getting to you know where they need to go uh, making sure that i show them just as much attention making sure i'm not neglecting my husband either so it's just a whole lot we're trying to also find time for myself how do you do it let me know I think my other question would be is how do you deal with the unpopular opinions of others? For example, I know there's a lot of like Colleen Hoover controversy. I never I never got into that. I never really looked into death. But how do you get into, let's say if you read a book by her, like I got it right here. It starts with us and it ends with us. And you put that on, you know, the internet and everybody's like, you shouldn't read that because the Colleen Hoover controversy. And again, I don't Again, I don't know anything about it, so I won't quite speak on it. But like, how do you navigate that? I know with me, I like what I like, and I'm going to do my own research. I don't allow the opinions of others to persuade me into anything. I'm very strong-willed in that aspect. So that's what I would ask my favorite booktubers. Um, um, number seven says, what challenges will be the hardest with booktube i think mine will be with specifically for me it will probably be with finding time and consistency because my my personal life is just so demanding outside of this um making sure that i stay on top of it because i truly do love it but not neglect my other aspirations and goals and my family in the process um and friends that will be the hardest thing for me um I definitely prayed on it and I have a I have um, a system going on now that will allow me to be consistent and that will allow me to get over some of those obstacles but I do think that will be the hardest challenge for me but I know as my community grows and you all encourage me it's just going to keep push it's just going to keep helping me keep moving forward pretty much um I think I answered this question already. When did you start reading? I believe I started reading around middle school time. I mean, always in elementary school when you used to have to check out books at the library. They used to have like the little book fairs and we used to have to write our names in the books and check them out. But I don't think I really, really got into like reading for real. Probably was middle school. Uh, what kind of books do you read? So I read romance as my number one favorite. I am a romance girly, y'all. I'm a, a romance girly. I do dabble into thriller. I think I read one thriller. No, I actually read more than one, but um, 
I did read this one thriller recently called The Last Word. Y'all, I was scared. Y'all, I'm a scary cat, okay? So those books scare me, but they're so interesting. So I'm trying to dabble into thrillers a little bit and not like jump ahead. That was the first book I actually jumped ahead because I just had to figure out what was going on. Um, so romance thrillers, I, I'm, I'm dabbling into fantasy. As you can see, my husband got me the entire Akatar series for Christmas. Um, I've, I've read the entire Shadow Me series. Absolutely loved it, even the novellas. Um, I read Fourth Wing. I'm almost done with Iron Flame, y'all. I'm trying to finish that book by the day. I gotta finish that book by tomorrow. Um, so yeah, and fantasy. So those are like my main books that I love to read, but romance definitely has the number one place in my heart. Is that the last question? It is. So I got, um, so you all, I hope you enjoyed the book to newbie tag. My name is Bethany Noel. I'm so happy to be here with you all. I hope you all are here to stay. Please subscribe, like, and comment and engage with me. I am very nice. <laughs> I don't bite and I love to engage with you all. Can't wait to see the next video. Bye.